Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. This is episode 418 of the Ping Pong Flick Show. Let's get to this today. Some exciting thing thing has happened today. But before we get to that, Thomas Polito, a scooper, has said, tweeted this out. New DC shows will be announced for HBO Max in a couple of weeks, confirms Warner Media's Bob Greenblatt at MIP.com. So, with that being said, it does look like it's getting closer to that October 29th reveal over at Burbank, California, where the Warner Brothers lot, they're going to announce a lot of things for HBO Max, possibly the programs, the launch package, if you will, and that should and will include DC content. Now, he specifically says DC shows, which could just be a lot of different things like the Harley Quinn series. Perhaps we'll finally get to see if they actually saved Swamp Thing uh, and actually saved Krypton as well. Those two are I'm just really looking forward to having those saved. I've heard about Swamp Thing. I'm really excited about to actually watch that. But I've heard some great things uh, about Krypton Season 2, which I've only halfway through. And so I can't wait for them to start up Season 3. But I'm also waiting for other DC content. What do they have in store for us to peel ourselves away from DC Universe and head on over to HBO Max? Is DC Universe going to be on HBO Max? That is interesting, to say at least. But what other things are going to be on HBO Max other than older TV shows, older TV series? Like, you can probably expect like the Adventures of Superman, Lois and Clark, the Batman animated series, things like that uh, that could uh, come to HBO Max. But I'm looking for new stuff. And I mean, it could be anything. It could be mini series. It could be mini shows. It could be I don't know. It could be the Snyder Cut for all we know. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But in any case, uh, October 29th is going to have some revealing some uh, great. Uh, in- possibly incredible stuff uh, about HBO Max and what type of DC content that's going to come out of there. So stay tuned for that. Now, since we're talking about the Snyder Cut, uh, or just teasing a little bit, um, Travis Clark over at Business Insider wrote a pre... A, a, a really big article about the release of Snyder Cut movement. He's talked about uh, the with the fans, the movement, what we've done so far, San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con, of course, the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. He had an extensive interview with Will Rollins, an extensive interview with uh, the Nerd Queens, and they were able to uh, bring out their passion for the Snyder Cut, bring out a lot of things uh, upward outward uh and travis clark covered it very well this is a very positive uh article and it makes it much bigger which it is bigger than the movie itself so uh thank you travis for uh putting that together and thank you will rollins and the nerd queens for uh getting those interviews it's a fantastic artist so please uh, i put the, the article in the description below Please go and click on it and read it. Uh, it's it's a very much like a review of, of what's been happening so far, what's been done so far, and also optimistic for the future. And uh, um, eventually, hopefully, the cut uh, gets released. But as... If those reveals of a Gal Gadot, uh, her back shot of looking out into the murals, was a signal to Zack Snyder, he indeed ca- got that signal and released his own uh, little picture right here. It's another, another shot of Gal Gadot, and it kind of really looks like film quality here, like it's an actual shot from the movie, from the Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League, and he posted it on Vero. Wow, incredible stuff. Uh, really, it's simple, but it's incredible to see. It, I, it, I just get really excited. And so I'm sure all of you do too, to see another shot of something we haven't seen before coming from the Snyder Cut of Justice League. It's just kind of pushing us forward. It's like fanning the flames, if you will, as some have said. Uh, and, and it's great just pushing the movement forward, just uh, you know, gearing up our enthusiasm, just... Uh, 
I, I so many things I want to say, <laughs> and I can't really come out with it, but uh, this is awesome. Uh, he even puts in a caption here on the picture. It says, at the end of the story, uh, Dark Side, which we can only assume it's the end of the history scene uh, of the movie, uh, and, and in the Justice League version, we do find that scene. We don't have this part, but we do have the history scene. We only have um, Diana Prince talking to Bruce Wayne around the lake, which was all reshot, so that's that didn't doesn't happen in the Snyder Cut. Uh, but so it makes you wonder, what part of the movie is this? Now he says at the end of the story, Dark Side. I'm only going to assume that's the end of her learning about Darkseid. And maybe after this, the she goes f finds uh, Bruce Wayne uh, and, um, and talks about Darkseid uh, with him. Um, but interesting enough, Cinema Blend's own Sean O'Connor, who has really jumped on the release of Snyder Cut bandwagon, and he's really pushing it forward. He's very optimistic about it. He, now, he may not have enjoyed Man of Steel uh, or Batman v Superman and Zack Snyder's interpretation of Superman, but he's ready to see the Snyder Cut, ready to see what Superman's arc is uh, in Justice League in order to, um, you know, have an opinion, a better opinion for uh, the, the, you know, the character Superman that Zack uh, Snyder had uh, pushed out for, uh, for his movie. But he's also understanding that Zack Snyder very much deserves to get his cut, his vision shown, and also the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. It, it's a great cause, and, I, I, and it's, uh, I'm really happy that Sean O'Connell sees that and, and really wants to fight with uh, for us as well. And that's the thing. It, it takes detractors, like, you know, even the person, the, the writer, I, I escapes my mind from the ringer who didn't understandably didn't like a BVS and Man of Steel as well, but he also is kind of on the side of this release of Snyder Cut fandom as well. It takes people like that to, to change their mind, even though it's beyond your opinion of the movie, it's beyond your opinion of the previous movies, it's what is deserved. It's what's it's justice for Zack Snyder. It's justice for the cast and crew members and, and so on and so forth. So that's why he's really pushing it now. But he got this article today, uh, you know, in response to Zack Snyder posting out that shot uh, and it says here see a new Wonder Woman shot from Zack Snyder's Justice League uh, Snyder Cut written by Sean O'Connell it's no secret that Zack Snyder has an alternate cut for Justice League a movie that he left halfway through production only to have Joss Whedon finish it Snyder routinely routinely shares new images from his version of the movie because a long-standing debate about the Snyder Cut of Justice League is just how finished the movie really is based on this photo of Gal Gadot from what we are being told is the end of the movie it's pretty damn finished and I, I've got to take I'm thinking about this uh, a little bit now knowing full well that Sean O'Connell uh, along with Paul Shirey and a, probably a few others have visited Army of the Dead uh, set and uh, they themselves have said they learned something about the Snyder Cut there uh, it's interesting for him to say this meaning does he actually know uh, this is actually towards the end of the movie which could make sense in the terms because we're 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 th we're basing our story plot points based on what we've seen from Justice League and thinking that they may be using the same template the same timeline of events that happen but could this mean this is towards the end of the movie where she's actually finding out about dark side so that it hints and teases us towards the next film which is supposed to be justice league 2 which we have them fight dark side I'm very curious about his words here, uh, but he also, uh, that little bit, it's pretty damn finished, meaning he very much could have talked to Zack Snyder, and Zack Snyder himself revealed to the writers that it's finished. Maybe. I'm just guessing here, just just using, uh, looking at the words and really pulling it apart from his article here. Now, nothing has been revealed from Sean O'Connell or Paul Shire or anything about what had happened on the set. It is indeed embargoed. They cannot say anything until closer to the release of the movie Army of the Dead, which is still up in the air because apparently Netflix uh, has not revealed a release date for that movie. Now, moving on. 
Zack Snyder uses the social platform Vero to communicate with his passionate fan base, many of who rally for the release of Snyder Cut of Justice League. Their mantra is hashtag release of Snyder Cut and appears to be picking up steam in recent weeks. Group took over New York Comic Con recently, handing out pamphlets and t-shirts to promote awareness of their movement, and Snyder heard them. He shared their posts and told fans how speechless he was about their actions and motivations. This new image, however, showed that the Snyder Cut actually includes a lot of footage that didn't see the light of day in the theatrical cut of Justice League, and it should go a long way in inspiring the Snyder Cut fans to keep beating that drum until the version they crave is released. Snyder has said over the years in interviews that his version of Justice League would have led to the eventual tease of the infamous DC villain Darkseid. Steppenwolf, played by Siren Hines, was an appetizer for the main course. This image appears to show Gal Gadot's Diana Prince in a cave or a tomb where drawings on the wall hint at the suggestion of Darkseid. So in the bigger question though, is why does Zack Snyder keep sharing this material? He knows that any time he posts to Vero, it excites the fan base. But to what end? He very easily has the power to tell his fans, get over it. There is no cut. Move on. He never does. Instead, the filmmaker regularly releases new evidence supporting the theory that the Snyder Cut of Justice League exists. And in this reporter's opinion, he's also stating with these official releases that he one day wants his passionate fans to see it. For now, it's a pipe dream but one that appears to be blowing a lot more than smoke. The next official DC movie is Birds of Prey, reaching theaters in February. Could the Snyder Cut of Justice League be far behind it, though? Snyder is keeping us all guessing. He also has us hoping. Well, keep in mind, judging from this article, when you're reading this article, keep in mind, this man along with few writers, have talked to Zack Snyder himself in person at the Army of the Dead set. There's a lot of time in that set. Okay, just keep in mind when you're reading this. Now, I'm not trying to, you know, give you any ideas. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking, okay? I'm telling you what I'm thinking. It's interesting he said the next official DC movie is Birds of Prey reaching theaters in February. Could the Snyder Cut of Just Lee be far behind it? And then I'm thinking, is that is are they hinting that's coming out next year? I don't know. But the, I'm just maybe I'm reading too much into this article. I'm reading too much into it. And he's literally just trying to excite people, just trying to give us hope in the same way Zack Snyder is giving us hope. I would love to uh, think that and just try to be think that. But I'm so excited. And you know me. I'm always optimistic. Glass half full. And it's it just seems to me like there it's it's uh, something's happening. Something big is brewing. Uh, and uh, we don't have to wait too long. I think. And I know. It, it, when it comes out and nothing like that really is talked about at the you know, Army of the Dead set, I'll be pretty broken. But... Not broken enough to keep on fighting. And that's why I don't really... I'm optimistic, but I'm not optimistic enough to stop shouting out, Release the Snyder Cut of Justice League. So that's what I'm going to keep on doing until the Snyder Cut comes out. Alright guys, well thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.